Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Grounded. This one should be coming out on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, welcome back. Okay, so we are ready to build out the interior of our house with some key items. First one on our to-do list, workbench. Yes, okay, this one's very important. This is going to allow us to craft armor, better tools, hopefully. We'll find out in a second, so we'll put it there, and we will build. Ba-boom! Okay, and I'm going to get rid of these. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look here. We have ant armor, and we have ladybug armor. Now, I don't have enough ladybug parts to do all these, so we'd have to go hunt another one. I could make the ladybug faceplate, but I don't have a head. Berry leather. Oh, that's an unknown ingredient. Okay, well, we, we certainly would be able to do these ant bits, but before I do, I noticed that one of these base building items, uh, utilities, and I think it was the spinning wheel, requires ant parts. So we're going to use some of those for that. Let's go grab one sap and two acorn ta tops from our uh, storage here. Okay, give me this and this. Okay, and now let's make a spinning wheel before we go too, too much further. We're going to see what this is all about. Uh, spinning wheel. Boom. And construct. Okay, and we'll put it right here next to our workbench. Oh, oh, you know what I just noticed, guys? Look at that. That's made from an ant mandible. Look at that vice. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, so we now have a spinning wheel. Spin... We can turn plant fiber. Well, what? What does it do? Okay, we're going to find out what it does. Maybe it makes rope for us or something. But that doesn't seem all that useful. We'll find out in a minute. All right, let's, let's make some armor. I don't want to go hunting ladybugs right now. We've got bigger plans. We're going to explore the depths of the ocean today. So let's go and... W okay, let's, let's make up some armor. This one we can make. These two require acid glands. Oh, crude rope I can make. Okay, so let's go ahead and make craft and equip knee guards. And we need more mite fuzz. Don't worry, I've got lots. Don't I? Don't I? Yes, full stacks. Give me a full stack, please. Okay, all right. And, and helmet. Craft. Oh, and I didn't equip it. How do we do that? Equip. Okay, check it out. Armor and knee pads. We need some kind of chest piece. Now, I can't make the arm one, uh, the uh, ant one yet, but maybe an acorn chest plate. Three acorn shells. I can certainly do the rope, right? Okay, six clover leaves and three acorn shells. Let's see, let's go back into first person here. Acorn shells. Yes, I've got it, and I've got it. Beautiful. Okay, let's make some acorn armor, and we'll kind of compare. I didn't stop to look. Acorn armor chest plate compares to... There is no ant chest plate. Okay, well, that's fine. Craft and equip. All right. All right. I wish I could spin the camera all the way around, but we have a chest plate on now. Okay, so we're much better armored up. We could certainly build more on the interior of our house. I mean, we, we, are, we are hoops. So maybe we decorate our house with the basketball hoop. Let's just do that real quick, okay? What do I need for this one? Uh, two grass planks, one weed stem, and two web fiber. Go first person. Give me my web fiber, please. Yes. And one, two, three, and we will craft. Basketball a hoopa. Okay. All right. Ah -ha, ha ha! Oh, it's a little bit angled. Good job, idiot. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> okay. And now I do also want to uh, attempt a tool repair. We've never done this before. Uh, inventory, please. And my shovel is damaged, so. Uh, where is the acorn shovel? Right here. And we will repair. Done! Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, that's so easy. Okay. 
All right, guys, it is nighttime. I'm going to empty out some of this inventory. Uh, we will do more construction on, on fun things like this in the, in the very, very near future. But for today, we need to get underwater and we need to explore some of the depths. So I need more storage. I'm going to make myself some. I'll put away more of this stuff. And in the morning... I'm going to sleep. In the morning, we are going to dive back into the pond depths. Now, last episode, I found a sort of hidden laboratory under this thing. Turns out that's not it. We need to find a bunch of new gear, uh, and we do it with resources we find in the water. We need to potentially kill some water enemies, and eventually, somewhere deep, 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 deep in the depths, we are going to find uh, the, the goal, the mission that has been in the top left of our screen for a few episodes now. Okay, so let me make some storage, I will get some sleep, and I will come back to you in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to explore the pond depths. Now, my plan for today is to dive under here, and to begin at least uh, to gather some of the resources from the sea. We will need to work on flippers, and a sort of s mite sized scuba mask. Now. We need to find unique resources that exist only under the water. That is what I know. And is that a little bubble I can get air from? No, it's not. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, it's a different world down here, my friends. Aha, what's this? Lily pad wax. Okay. Fin flops and peblet dagger. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, okay, get some air. Sure, I'll do that. Let's grab a little bit more wax first, though. Why not? Uh-huh. We're right near the surface. Easy. Uh-huh. Easy. Easy. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Don't worry about it, okay? And so far, no enemies. Uh, by the way, little hint. I died once. There's just, like, one algae in that backpack. But if you have trouble finding your house, God, die and leave a backpack. It stays forever. I can't believe how long it's been there. It's never going away. So I have like a, a constant home marker on my screen. I never get lost. It's wonderful. Okay, so the place we found last time was under there. I imagine we're going to have to go much deeper into the pond depths. But let's see what's required for the peblet knife and the fin flops, which are our newest... Uh, oh, they must be workbench gear. Uh-huh. Fin flops, okay. We need a water boatman finned, fin and eelgrass strands. And then what about the, what about the peblet knife? Peblet dagger, that's what it's called. We need two peblets and crude rope. So we could do that right away. And maybe we need the knife to get the eelgrass. Let's find out. Okay, well that was a good initial adventure. That lily pad wax was exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And we made it this time. Okay, here's my here's my swimming up point. But yeah, check it out. This was like two, five, three days ago in game. Just a little algae. Why not? Put empty your inventory. Grab a few useless items. Die right by your house. Done. And actually, if you need to, I think there's a button here. Give up. I think you can just choose to die if you end up in a terrible position or something like that. Okay, so peblets. Let's hope I've got... Hey! Did I drop that? I don't want to drop that. <laughs> okay. We got a few. Yes, we do. And some rope. I will need a little bit more, probably. Let's grab a little bit of... Uh... Oh, yes! This is what I was hoping for. Hello. Let's grab a few of these plant fibers real quick. We'll make up a little rope. We'll make a peblet dagger. And then we'll work on the eelgrass for the fin flops. And, uh, we'll, and water boatman fin. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have to go find some, well, water boatman, if you guys don't know, they're like, uh, this little two-legged, I don't even know how to describe them. <laughs> they're, they're so strange. A little two-legged swimmer thing. I, I can't even describe it. You'll see it when we find it. Uh, oh, did I make more rope? Yes, I did. Tools. Peblet dagger. And we will craft and equip. Okay, so we now have a dagger. Let's dive back underwater. Do one quick look. Workbench gear and fin flops. So eelgrass strand and water boatman fin. Let's start with the eelgrass. Let's see if I can find something that resembles that. Oh, it's deep. Oh, air bubbles. 
Interesting. Let's find the source of these air bubbles. Hello, water boatman. That's it right there. That's it right there. Now that's faster than me. This is going to be a challenge. And so far I only see tadpoles. Look at all these air bubbles. That's wonderful. Now, can I use a bow underwater? No. Okay. So, what about a spear? Yes, we could use a spear. Uh-huh. Do you fight back? No, he doesn't. Okay. All right. Water boatman. We got one. Okay. Interesting. Let's find something to stand on over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me on this. Okay. Who? Oh, there's another. Okay. Real quick. Okay, we need four of them. Dive back in. Oh, look at that. Look at these air bubbles. That's probably a game changer. You can probably stay underwater indefinitely with those. You should be much faster than me, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. One. One water boatman fin. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Let's get- let's get up in this guy's business. Okay, that little notification, guys, if you look above my scab... Oh, also, I figured out it's completely pointless. I figured out what the, uh... Yeah, I figured if we go here... I figured out what, uh, that thing was. The Night Might Rider. It's just like a... It's just like a... A color scheme. So now I have a different color scheme on my bottom left status bar. Kind of pointless, but I'm not complaining. Okay, we should probably kill a, a tadpole, don't you think? Just to see what resource we get from it. It might just be like tadpole meat. But while we're down here, we, it couldn't hurt. I don't think they're going to fight back, but maybe it will. Nope. Uh, nope. Friendly. Did I get you? Raw tadpole meat. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hey! Oh, that's the one I killed. Okay, we're good. I thought I was getting swarmed by him. So that's what I found last time. All right, let's pay, let's pay quick attention. Inventory, and how do we put this dagger on the hotbar, okay? All right, eelgrass. What do you think eelgrass looks like? I assume like an eel. This is not it. This doesn't look like it either. None of this looks like grass. Oh, what a wonderful world down here, don't you think? I love it! Oh, what are you? What have I found here? Nothing. Okay, good. Just just a hole between some boulders. Oh, oh, okay. Stamina. Eelgrass. It's not this, right? I couldn't harvest this with a knife. No, I didn't think so. Oh, I bet I'm gonna have to go deeper. Yeah, that- Hello! Okay. Okay. Underwater spiders. We do not want to fight that battle yet. Maybe if he comes up to my level and I can bow, bow shot him. No, that's him right there. Okay. Oh, it's a strange place down there, guys. It's exhausting. Okay. Eelgrass. Where do you think it is? Let's do a high dive. Ready? Yeah! Oh, that worked great. That's a great way to get yourself to the depths fast. Clay? Okay, good to know. Eel grass. Nope. That's a pebble. There's another spider. Okay, and we're out of stamina. He hasn't seen us. That's eel grass. I bet you any money. Nope. Okay, I'm going to the surface. Chill out. Do we need to kill one more boatman? Yes. Okay, let's try daggering him. I mean, that's this seems like an underwater, you know, skin diver's tool. Get ready, get ready to get daggered. I don't like that noise. Oh, it's him. Okay, the spear was better. Okay, we got four fins. And we're right back where we started, on this piece of grass. Okay, I saw it down there. Is it this? I bet it's this. This looks eely, doesn't it? Yes! Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Good. We can get two while we're down here, I think. And it doesn't float away, which is nice. Okay. Up for air. What are those? Ew. Ew. Disgusting down here. Okay, get me some air already. Three, two, one. One. <gasps> oh boy, cutting it close. Okay, let's not try for two every time. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Is this a harvestable resource? Nope. Yeah, we have 40 seconds of air, so... At 20. Oh, look at that tubing! Look at that tubing! What is that? I know. Don't worry. I'm being smarter about it this time. Oh, the animations are so great. What a good, what a well-made game so far, guys. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, one more dive. And we'll just get the tips of it this time. I don't think we have to go deeper. Ooh, I'll try getting an air bubble, too, if we have time. I'm not hitting it. Stamina. Okay, and... Let's see if we can get one. No, we missed it. Okay, look at that. Oxygen fully replenished. So you could just live over one of these. That's great. Okay, let's make it our way to the next one. You know how hard that would be underwater to catch a breath in the midst of an air bubble rising through you? Oh, look! Look! It! Look! Look! Okay, it's leaking from this. Follow it. Follow it down. Yeah, right here. Look. Uh, let's... Oh. Okay, we... We need... We need to go make our flippers. Can I just make them underwater? Where's the next air bubble spot? Okay, right here. I'll get you. Give me this. Give me... Yes! Okay. This seems pretty safe, right? Can I craft underwater? It's a workbench item, isn't it? Okay, alright. Let's go back to the surface, guys. Let's make our fin flops. That should make us a lot faster. And I think... If I'm not mistaken, this hose is leading us somewhere. So, uh, I'm gonna make the fin flops. I will come back to you in just a minute. Alright, guys. We did it. Craft and equip. All right. Now, does that replace some of our armor? No. Okay, look at our feet. Now, do we move slower on land? Maybe a little bit, but not desperately. Okay, we're going to go off to the end of this uh, puncho box. No puncho for me today, right? I already got it. Okay. It squirts out a little bit each new day, which is nice. Uh, and I think I came up from the depths somewhere over here. So, let's see what we can find. Okay. Uh-huh. Never have enough sap. Alright, where... Where was it? Okay, we're gonna need some air. Oh! Look at that behemoth! Do you guys see that? Oh, I bet he could one-shot us if he decided we were lunch. Do you see that koi pond? That koi fish? This is called the koi pond. Oh, it's another lab entrance. This is not the one I'm looking for, but, uh, pond hatch. Oh, it won't open up for me. Okay. Oh, hi. That's what was making all. Oh, yeah. It looked this. Yeah, it looked like a big dome. Oh, it's a light of some kind, maybe. There's some raw science here. That's a good sign. Hey, gimme! Uh-huh. I understand. I understand. Ho! Oh! Guys, we gotta stay right here. We gotta stay right here. I just saw a 
koi fish. Yeah, look at him. Look at a behemoth. Behemoth. Leviathan. <laughs> I do not want to get eaten by this. I do not want that. Okay, that indicator means we are close to a lab. One of the one of the lab locations. But it's not what I thought. This doesn't open for us. Oh, look. Okay, we've got to get back to some air here in a sec, but look at this. Is that where we were last time, I wonder? No. Totally different location. Okay. Hi! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Close encounters. Close freaking encounters. <laughs> Jeezer. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. Give me an air bubble, please. Thank you. Okay, we got spider problems. Aha, this is where it was. Okay. Guys, I'm back. I think we can safely wait here for an air bubble. It's a little harder to catch these. Yeah, they're a little more infrequent. But yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Are there any air bubbles? Yes, coming up from below. I'll grab one of these. Thank you. Okay. What is down here? The pond. Explore the depths. I've done it. Okay, we're going to stick to these air hose lines as long as possible. Keep our, our air bar full. It's got to be... Okay. I'm going to grab the... Oh! Hello, sunken T-Rex. Pretty sick. Let's get a... Let's get a third-person camera of this. Oh, wow. That is cool. Uh-huh. Okay, don't get too distracted, big boy. That's my nickname for myself. Old big boy. I feel like we must go this way. Now, the air is limited. There, There's something called a gill tube that uh, we're supposed to unlock at some point, And that's supposed to double our... Whoa. Grab a hold of this. Get pushed along. Oh, check this out. There's no air down here. There's no air down here. Oh, we're gonna die down here. Okay, I'm going back. Oh, we're never gonna make it. Oh, I, at least I can make it to my stuff. Okay. <laughs> Alright, friends. Welcome back. I've gathered all our stuff, and I found a very safe place for us to wait. I'm sitting on top of an air bubble. This is definitively where we need to go. That first stanchion there has an air jet shooting out of it. The second one does as well, but as you get further along, they don't seem to. And I don't yet know how to make the rebreather, which, I mean, that'll be a game changer when we can do it. Give me an air bubble, please. What's taking so long? Okay, let's go now. We're going to catch the first jet, we're going to catch the second jet, and we're going to see... I don't think they'd give us all these if there wasn't a way to use them. One, and two, there's no blower on this one. What is this? There's the third one, no blower. Okay, do we go back? Yeah, let's go back. Oh, I'm never going to make it again. Oh, I keep dying. Okay. Oh, look at that. What is that thing? That looks like an, a blower. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to get my stuff one more time. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we try this once more. Catch the first one, catch the second one, and I'm going to aim for that yellow thing up there. That looked like something. Whoom, and catch, and whoom. What are you, sir? What are you? It's a status. It's a timer. It's a timer. Can I... Turn dial. Turn dial. How? How? Come on. 
turned out. What does that mean? Oh, don't die down here again. Oh, that's like two more deaths before I can get back. That's it. How do we turn dial? Okay, guys, change of plans. We are going to gather up some eelgrass, which I've done. Let's grab a little bit more air. We are going to gather up some lily pad wax as well. These are the two resources we've used to make the other items uh, for underwater breathing. And we are going to see if we can run them through the old analyzer. And maybe by doing that, we'll unlock the gill tube thing. That's my only hope because I can't find it in my craftables and we need it. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm at the surface. Oh, okay, and it's nighttime anyway. Look how far away we are. Okay. All right, and some lily pad wax, please. Give me this stuff. Excellent. Oh, look how much. It's a mother load. Uh-huh. Excellent work. Where's the surface, please? Thank you. Oh, Lord. All right, guys, we need to explore the depths, and I can't get there on the air we already have. So let's try this. Not what I was looking for, and eelgrass. Guilt tube! That's exactly what we needed. New recipes deciphered. Okay, while we're here, we'll just run this through. Okay, all right. Gill tube. All right, so my efforts have been worth it. Gill tube is probably under... Well, what would it be under? Workbench gear? Gill tube. Silk rope. Okay, I know how to make that. You make that by spinning spider web on the spinning wheel. I did it sort of accidentally here, guys. Uh, so I have some of that at home. I was just trying to see what that spinning wheel could be used for. I... Awesome. Okay. All right, so we go make a gill tube, then this whole mission because Oh, hi! You're a different type of spider. Totally different type of spider. I've never seen this before. Oh, hi, you're not... Huh. What was that? A wolf spider. Oh, boy. How? How, after all this time, I've never seen that? Wow. Oh, man, that scared me. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, at first, this game didn't remind me that much of Ark Survival Evolved, but then I started dying constantly, and I went, Oh, right, this is familiar to me. Okay, let's head home. All right, welcome back, guys. I'm going to quickly show you. I have an empty inventory slot. We're going to take these, and we're going to do this, okay? One, two, one, uh, one, two, three, four. And over time... This will spit out silk rope. Now, I did this sort of already, so we're going to grab this stack. And what else did I need? Uh, a quick check here. What else did I need? Do I have it all? We have it all. Craft and equip. A gill tube. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so we can leave this going. Let's go into our inventory and we'll clear out some space here. Empty out anything we don't urgently need. All right, good morning, friends. Our helmet has been now replaced with a gill tube, and watch this. Oh, 80 seconds of O2. What a game changer. Normally, I would come by and I'd hit one of these on the way down. We really don't even need to bother. If it doesn't give us a bubble, I'll take it. Why not? Uh, okay, excellent. Guys, we're going to explore the depths together. Let's do it. All right. Now, I don't know if this is necessary, but we're going to put away our tools. I'm going to try, once the next air bubble comes, to get to that yellow timer dial and see if I can figure it out. Uh, because I think what it will do, best guess, is turn on more of these jets and make it a little bit easier uh huh, to get through, right? Ah, uh, maybe. Let's see if I can figure this out. Turn dial. Uh, why? E. Turn dial. I have an empty hand. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we got 40 seconds of air left. I'm gonna go grab a. I'm gonna go refresh our air supply. 
and we'll come back. I guess we don't mess with that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right, ignore the annoying dial, and let's <laughs> let's see if we can figure out how to get through this challenge. One, two. I swear I should be able to make that work. Okay, we've got openings on the floor. Ho! Oh, an opening on the ceiling. Locked. Okay. Alright, go back for more air. I think. Okay. Well, we've got options. I'm gonna try and get out and get back for more air before my uh, oxygen runs out. Uh, I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> Alright, guys. I, I'm not sure how this episode's gonna come together. I'm gonna have to do some editing. I've died down here a lot. So, one thing I've noticed is we try and get... Catch this wave. We try and touch this thing, and I'm unable to do it. it uh, it's just completely doesn't work. Now, the last time I was down here, it's easy to get a little lost. I stumbled into this. Right up here. Look, look, look. This might be the ticket. It's got to be this way, right? Yes. Okay. This might be the ticket. Okay, we'll have to explore this. Keep going, though. Oh my god, there's so much stuff there. Oh, yes! Oh, okay. And this is glass. Huh. <laughs> okay. Caution. Low voltage. These are the three breakers. One, two, three. Not turned on. Switch on all the breakers. Aha! Okay. Okay. Hey! Oh, I remember you. Uh, it's another Tazy T. We know how to fight him. See you later, idiot! Get, hit him with the same arrow twice, right? <laughs> Learn your lesson, Tazy T. You can't mess with me. You can't mess with me, brother. Come on. Okay. What is this? Fiber bandage. Ham's test. Day 15. No change from last week, but I feel we're on the cusp of something here, and I've got an idea. I shot awake this morning, sweaty with a memory of the frenetic energy of fitness commercials that popped on before the kids' Saturday morning cartoon shows. In those early hours, being annoyed at the greasy glow of skin stretched tight over bursting muscles, screaming about some new trivial invention, veins bulging with hot blood... Wow, descriptive. But that movement and excitement, that's what's missing. Our wilted... Petit shoe needs to get pumped up. Little children? Shoe? Petit shoe? <clears throat> Excuse me. With this inspiration, we're moving forward with an admittedly odd Hail Mary procedure for Gen 2. Vascular grafting. At the time of writing this, we've already removed the cumbersome stem from the growth process, rendering these auxiliary buds longing for a new system to be part of. I've had Burgle harvest an appendicular artery off the old jarred appendix, old jarred appendix, and have begun splicing them into the sprout roots, mending the union with a manner of agar glue. The system of both man and plant are not that different after all, but could they be this compatible? And it's a bed! Oh, cool! Oh, that's cool, like a, a regeneration station. And we've got a new locked door. Do I have a way to open it? I don't think so. That's something that'll happen eventually. Uh, it's not nighttime, right? No. Middle of the day. So. What? Okay, fine. Okay, but we found air. We have turned on the power grid control. And now it's just a simple fact of resetting the breakers. In the meantime, we can see what's on these shelves. Oh, we'll have to come back and loot all of this with an empty inventory, guys. We got rope, we got quartzite, we're familiar with those. We've got lots of slime mold stalks, lily pad wax, a rotten slime lantern. Can I use that, I wonder? And, uh, okay, berry leather. Oh, we need some of this stuff. 
eel grass. Let's grab a little air, and we're gonna try and uh, equip that lantern real quick. Let's see, inventory. Can I put you here? And eight. Oh, cool! Okay, this makes life much easier. We've got water boatman fins. We've got a diving bell spider chunk. Algae. And, obviously, lily pad wax. That's the thread that we got last time. So we'll have to come and loot this whole place. We've got a couple of unopened doors. We're gonna grab... Oh, what is all this? Spoiled meat. Interesting. Why would there be spoiled meat floating in the ceiling? I'm not worried about it. Okay. 80 seconds of air, and we have a new lantern to guide our way. Let's go flip those breakers. I thought we were going to have to do them all in one go, but now we have an air source nearby. So we'll get one, then we'll get the next, then we'll get the next. But I've only seen one. There's one. This is the one that I know about. So we'll set it, if I can. We will return, and we'll go look for the other two. I think I might have just seen one. So can I now activate you? Yes. Oh, good, good. Okay. Let's head back. Let's head back for a little bit more air. I think that's one right there. Oh, I'm so glad to have figured this out, guys. Look. Green. So we just need to find two more. It makes me so happy when I don't... <laughs> when I don't end an episode going, Well, I'm stumped. I don't know how to do this. Dad, this is a challenging mission, to be honest. To give you right off the bat without any ingredients for koi pond, whatever. This is one of them. Okay. Oh, what? What? It's behind glass? Okay. I got to go back for more air. Maybe we go in. Oh, what a wow. Wow, this is harder. I, uh, I, okay. All right, where, where was my tunnel? It's right here. Okay, we're barely going to make it. All right. That one's behind glass. What the heck? I wonder what the deal is with that. And we're hungry, I know. Don't worry about it. We'll worry about that later. I don't think I brought any food with us. Yeah. Uh, no. No food. Okay. All right. Let's go to the one behind glass and see if we can get to the bottom of it, guys. Uh, I think if I swim towards the tubes, we can look for a... We can look for an entrance into this. Like this? Can I get through this? No. Oh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna fail again. If you hear that sound, we're just gonna check... That's not an entrance. 39 seconds is enough to turn back. Can I get in right here? I can. Okay, so let's go back and get air. Just because I'm not sure we're going to find some in there. And we now know our way in. God, what a... What a this mission makes you work. I am both hungry and thirsty, which is not ideal. But I, I think I know what I'm doing now. That lantern did not last very long, so we're going to be going through this in the dark. But at the end of this... Okay, remember your path. Remember your path. Okay. Let's see if I can do this, guys. Okay. Gather your stamina. And if we're lucky, maybe there's air. Oh! Whoa! Oh, we're not going to be able to do this. Look at that. There's a whole jet stream. There's a whole jet stream coming down this tube. Okay. What a challenge. Does it look like there's an air bubble in here? It doesn't. So we're going to have to swim up here. Is there an air bubble? It does not look like one. But we need to find a way into this. And there's a jet stream coming from there. That is going to make this difficult. Where is the other one? Maybe we can get the other one first. 
I wonder if it's down there. Okay, guys, there. I'm looking for the other one. We'll save that one with the air jet for last. Okay, that's a bad sound. That's probably a spider of some kind. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Okay, dodge. Use the roots to your advantage. He can't follow you through all the- Hi, there's lots. Wow, there's lots of them. Wow, okay. Okay, two out of three, guys. Now, I am both thirsty and hungry, and I cannot drink pond water right here. And I didn't bring anything down, so unless I can kill a spider, we're kind of screwed on that front. I am really tempted to kill time until night, and if I can make it till nighttime, uh, which I should be able to do, then we could maybe even set our spawn point here. Oh, I can do that without that? Oh, great. Okay, I thought I had to wait for nighttime to set a spawn point. That way, when we die, we will respawn back in here. I hope that's not a terrible idea. That would, oh man, can you imagine if we couldn't get back to our stuff? But uh, the problem with being so thirsty and hungry is it takes my stamina bar a lot longer to recharge. Which, with, with time being of the essence here, you know, that's a real, that's a real issue. Oh, I know. I can eat algae. I forgot about this. There's a plentiful food source right here. Now, water I can't solve. But, uh, algae? Delish. Why not? Alright, guys. The hunger bar is filled up. I think I'm actually going to use... These tend to give you a tiny bit, but they also seem to maybe encourage faster... Yeah, see that? Faster healing over time. So we're going to use both these bandages we found. I'm hoping with the full hunger bar that our stamina will, uh, will rebound quicker than with both of them empty. But uh, I can't seem to drink this water, so we're kind of, we're kind of out on a limb. Now, is there a way... Do we think there is a way around this, or do I just have to swim straight into that airstream? That seems like my only option. So, okay, stamina still coming back super slowly. Maybe I can avoid it? No. Man, there's no getting through this. I can't swim into it. Yes, I can. Okay, oh, it's intermittent. It's intermittent. Air? No air. No air. Oh, no. Okay, and where do I go now? Where do I go now? Right here? Enter the opening into the depths. Okay, this was closed before. Ah! Explore the submerged lab. Oh, awesome. Okay. All we've got is the button and then one open door. Let's see what's on the other side of this. Raw s -s -s science Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, yes. Stinky onion. Strong muscles. Steak with guns. How to give a sad man. Stop. Chemical formulas. Muscle. That must be muscle. God, these are confusing. <laughs> I kind of figured out the last one a little bit, but... What is that? Human muscle. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, guys. This... I don't know why they make you read these ones instead of... Generation 7 fitness stable. Vascular systems have evolved into something inspirational. Sprout musculature amplification research is going swimmingly, pun intended. Gen 4 has brought rhythm of the flesh in a way that fungal networks could trans... Mitt was certainly key. Each node is performing in tandem at peak efficiency. Condensed crop cycle manipulation is accelerating generational hybrid evolution at an unprecedented rate. Wow, a lot of big words. Good thing I'm a good reader. Hams is proving to be a highly advantageous apparatus. Super dense Brussels sprouts, muscle sprouts, and <laughs> wink wink, conducting a ripe symphony of proteins, lipids, carbohydrates via the push and pull of plant and muscle fibers. Applications here for sustainable, humane, omnivorous diets are tantalizing. Consider an acrobatics 
aerobatics program for the lab monitor array to increase nutrification and introduce a motivational aspect to growth. Plug data into Burgle's recipe module. Finally, something we can share a common bond over. Okay, so he's mixing human muscle fiber with plants. Brussels sprouts become muscle sprouts. Think about it. Okay, another locked door, and we're going to have to follow a submerged path to get into that next laboratory, I imagine. Oh, wow, I could use a lantern down here, couldn't I? Back here in the sunken room with all the gear is uh, some of those slime mold stocks. I might be able to make us a torch, uh, but I would... And then these, slime mold stocks. We'll grab a whole stack of them. All right. Oh, see, I never would have found this. Now what? Oh. Oh, and we're still underwater. Okay. Move fast, then. Move fast and figure out where you're supposed to go. And we're through. Okay. Log on. T Wendell Tully. Power grid. Mash keys. Reboot the computer in the biodome. Reboot biodome terminal. Excellent work, me! And a new ominent log. Ominent practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, science division. Log 88.06.23a. Finally, my genius is recognized. My ominent minders have requested a demonstration of the spacer. I do wonder how they even found out about it. No doubt it was the loose lips of that blabbing Klein. But perhaps his indiscretion has worked in my favor in this instance, and I will have the last laugh. Once ominent sees what I've accomplished here, his of investment in me was not a mistake. How it will feel to have them watch me in my moment of triumph. This is what I've been working toward my entire career. Recognition at last. Is that the voice of Alan Tudyk, guys, from Firefly fame? And, uh, it, it, you know, and he played that robot in Rogue One. Is that the voice I'm hearing? It sounds so familiar every time I get in here. Okay. So we've looped all the way around. This door is now unlocked, and we have we don't need to swim through that laboratory. Aha! Muscle Sprouts Test Kitchen. Another new thing. Let's check it out. Ingredients. Test samples are currently 0.833% of target production size. Complex and somewhat tense muscular nuggets. Several flaps overlap to protect a central organ, all entirely edible. An innate sense of fitness and survival compels them to fight against preparation. A smack of the spatula calms them right down. Initial recipe module analysis indicates use as a replacement for dry-aged beef liver. Unexpected. Compiling flavor profile compatibility onions. What? I guess we'll give this to Burgle and see if he can make any sense of it. But we're now we're now interconnected. Now it just says reboot the computer in the biodome. Did I not do that? Mash keys. I mean, that's it. That's all I can do. Reboot biodome terminal. All right. Well, let's let's circle back if I can to the main laboratory and see if there's something there. So no swimming should be required. We should be able to w walk through now. Hi! Where did you guys come from? Okay. All right. We got a double fight on our hands. As if one wasn't enough. We got two Tazy T's up in our face. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, my stamina's crap. Could you reboot this for me? Oh, you forgot about me, didn't you? I think he's learned his lesson. The, f the fight is just pointless. 
Now that I have a bow. What? You think that's unfair? Fine, I'll finish you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. It's important that we pick up these arrows. I didn't bring enough. A hundred raw science. Oh, hey, yeah, look who's back for more. Yeah? You want to go hand-to-hand? -hand? Well, why don't I weaken you up first, okay? Because you've got full strength, and you've got a, a taser for an arm. Uh-huh. Not very maneuverable, are ye? Man, this is all you need to dominate a Tazy T. Behind you! In your face! Behind you again! <laughs> Remember when these things used to be a challenge? Remember when I used to have trouble fighting a Tazy? Hey! Hey! That's my spear! Uh-huh. Look at this mess I've made! Look at arrows everywhere! Hey, look at I got one on a shelf! How did I do that? They come flinging off these things after you fight them. Okay, so that's a good sign. That means we have advanced the story, I think. Just through this door, where I've previously already been, there were two enemies where whence there were zero. Where have they come from? Three? Three? Truly? Peblet dagger. I've made quick work of these things. Ah, is this new? I think this might be new. Yes, it's new. Two more. Hey, hey, hold on. Okay, watch this. Hammer job. Just floating there in the air, these stupid little tin cans, it feels like something you'd want to smash with a hammer. But very important, you soften them up first. There were two, right? All right, another one vanquished. <laughs> Hopefully the last. They're just quite tiresome to kill. Their health is very high, and I can kill them with my bow and arrow, but it's it's an exhaustive process. you got to put about 20 arrows into them. Okay, what awaits us here? What is this? It looks like one of those uh, machines. Good no, that's not what it is. Okay, good to know. Let's check out the atrium, the upper level here, guys. This is what was shown in that diagram. Is that not right? This is what I need. Mash buttons. Mash them. Resuming auto mode. Oh! Oh! It's the depths of the night, so we can't tell. But this was that giant clamshell thing that I found underwater... When we come back in the daylight, let's go sleep and see this, okay? We found a new chip for Burgle. He'll be happy about that. I'm going to go back to the bed if I can find my way. We're going to sleep, and I'm going to show you what this looks like by daylight. Oh, wow. Check it. Well, it doesn't make a difference, does it? <laughs> Is that like an exercise video? What's going on here? Yeah. It's booty. Sh someone shaking booty. Someone's doing extent leg extensions. Okay. Auto mode. 
log in. That's not a thing. Okay. But, there you go. We've opened up this underwater dome. We can now see out. This is very cool, guys. This mix of, of uh, being a tiny person in a lawn and then having uh, having all this raw science up in your face. It's excellent. It's so much fun. I'm really digging the world. Okay, we have a couple other little things to explore here, guys, before we call it a day. Let's see what is down here. Okay. Oh! Back into the wilds. Okay, this tank is... This is now open. We have an easy access way. And right over here is that dome. See? You remember it now from the beginning. Check that out. Oh, that's so cool. All right, guys. That is gonna do it for episode three. We made a workbench. Uh, we made a spinning wheel. We used them to create all of these cool new items on our... our gill tube and fin flops we made the dagger this thing and we explored the depths i mean we're done on that front uh we've we've done this mission is complete and we don't have a new one so we gotta go see burgle next um and i've got all these testing logs we've got a new chip for burgle he's gonna have some information for us so next episode we will begin by talking to burgle but i just want to say thank you for joining me guys merry christmas Happy holidays, and uh, I will work on getting a video for you for Boxing Day and make sure there's no days off. There might be one or two. We will see. But it's been a great run coming back to YouTube and just in time for the holidays. It's been a couple years since you had videos from me this time of year. So I just want to say thank you. I love you guys, and I will see you all very, very soon.